This is the first video in our new series on creativity for those with anxiety and ADHD. In particular, we'll be discussing what you can do to literally flip the switch on your tendencies and use them to your advantage as a sufferer of anxiety or ADHD. PanicAttackRecovery.com Hi, I'm Lynette from PanicAttackRecovery.com, where collaboration of former sufferers helping people with panic attacks, stress, anxiety, depression, and ADHD. As mentioned, we believe there are tendencies and characteristics shared between anxiety and ADHD sufferers that, if harnessed properly, could work to their advantage. Anxiety and ADHD sufferers can often have creative traits. The trick is to harness the obscure way that creative ideas come to us. For example, such creativity can arise through our sensitivity, emotions, thoughts, and inclinations, proclivities, when we pay attention to them. By using our ideas for something productive, we can get a sense of satisfaction. However, most importantly, the reason we may be having intense anxiety or frustration is that we have certain talents and abilities, simply things we're good at that aren't being put to use. Reframing anxiety in a creative way allows us to have relief. One of the most natural ways to harness creativity and, as a matter of fact, productivity in your life is by using something called morning anxiety. We previously completed a video on morning anxiety. In addition to the steps shared in this video for dealing with morning anxiety, you can learn to flip the switch on your anxiety by recognizing it as actually a pathway to creativity. When you awake in the morning, you may find that your mind is running even before you get out of bed and put your feet on the floor. You might have a number of racing thoughts. The trick is to grab a notepad or any other input device and write them down. Don't worry about how organized they are as you are writing them down. Think of this like a brainstorming exercise. Later on, you'll be able to organize this information and decide what's important and what you'd like to act on. You might find things coming to you like reminders of deadlines, thinking of things you need to do, or even ideas for solving a challenge relating to your work. Keep in mind that the information will be quite raw at first, but don't get frustrated. These ideas can happen any time in the morning, not just when you wake up, but they often start when you do first wake up. And these thoughts really can serve a purpose. In summary, doing something creative is as simple as just writing something down that comes to mind, whether it be an idea or something you forgot to do or should do, or an idea related to your business, work, or family. Often you will be able to build on these ideas and you start to feel much better after writing them down. Mornings can often be a creative time for people. This is a great way to reframe your morning anxiety. We hope that you'll give these suggestions a try. We hope that you've enjoyed this latest video and look forward to presenting a new video in our creative series next week. To make sure that you don't miss out on any of our content, please click on the card on the upper right corner of this video and subscribe to our free newsletter.